uh, the next important topic is a sucking blister which is very common but benign so it can be seen in 0.5 to 1 percent of the newborns as shallow erosions or intact bullae the site gives a clue anywhere where the baby can reach uh, with the mouth mostly over the hand area where the baby sucks on the wrist or in the finger or on the thumb uh, there is no treatment but if it is eroded you may consider topical treatment so these are examples it can suck over here it can suck uh, again over the lips itself you may get a, a blister and over the corresponding area on the hand Neurocutaneous markers have to be remembered as well and um, Caffella spots can be present in the newborn period but no need to panic if there are no other signs and no family history. Uh, again we have to remember uh, ash leaf macule and the association with tuberous sclerosis especially if we have a newborn presenting with uh, rhabdomyoma which has been picked up by antenatal scans. Subcutaneous fat necrosis is not uncommon especially with the babies who have undergone therapeutic hypothermia. So you get uh, lesions under the skin, the skin itself is red and uh, raised, becomes uh, plaque like and the main association with this is hypercalcemia. Uh, it may persist for some time so monitor these babies for that. Sometimes it breaks down and it may need plastic surgery review.